Hey everybody, welcome back, Super Auto Pets. It's the afternoon, the baby's at daycare, balance is restored in the universe. Although we are running horse and cricket, horse and cricket. I gotta say, you know, we've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. I'm not sure if people have noticed. Let's be the insolent masseuse. Insolent pieces is so good. Um, so I keep going in and out of the Super Auto Pets meta. That could not have gone better. But I was playing a little bit on uh, on my phone last night before bed, and I was having some success. So I think we've been doing okay lately, but let's turn that okay into uh, incredible. Hopefully, I don't know. We're gonna have a level 2.33 repeating, of course, horse. Uh, I would say, I mean, obviously it's not going to do that much for us on this round because it only has one HP, but just you wait. Just you wait. Ready? We take it. I don't love it, but I'll t that's like my borderline take here. I will, honestly, I'm going to give you some meat. We'll give you garlic later if you're still around, if you get the chance. We'll sell you. We'll buy you. We'll freeze you. We'll roll you. This squad can do something. Then next round, we probably sell the cricket, get a second spider, and then the round after that, we combine the spiders. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay, the real, you need an exit strategy for when the horse falls off. Give me my stats. Thank you. Nothing here is that incredible. I mean, we could use more meat, like, essentially always. Um... You know what? For the time being. How about one of those? And you know, not losing is very powerful. I've come to respect the cupcake. Because I've seen the effect that a cupcake has on me. Which is, when I die to a cupcake, I'm not like, oh, they overpaid for that win. I'm like, oh, I lost. They spent three gold and ruined my day? That's a great value. Now, okay, hold on. I hate to do it this way, but it's okay. We're gonna go like this, we're gonna go like this. I always, always regret the worm. So don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. I'm just hiring essentially a team full of mercenaries right now. That's what's happening. Every unit on this squad is disposable, including the horse. At least our meat gets to attack once. That's that's big. That's big. That's big. That's big. That's pretty big. Hold up. Hold up. We almost made it to the end there, thanks to the turtle. I do respect that. I respect and appreciate that. Um, okay, so now you need to be combined. Probably some garlic would help. We still don't have an anchor tenant, which is always a little deleterious. I would add a hedgehog to the squad for one round if we had to. I still would. And and the truth of the matter is, this is not like... Our intention is not to roll a headshot long term. But I think it can screw people up for one round. And will I roll it for one turn? No, sometimes I say I'm going to roll it for one turn and then I run it way too freaking long. No question there. Uh, well, this did not go well. Okay, so we needed to pivot earlier. But I haven't seen like a compelling reason, unfortunately. We're, we're still going to sell you. I'm keeping that meat there. We need more killing power, I think. Um, I would get like a spider. Like a second spider effectively here. And then I guess a level two blowfish, you could do worse. I really don't love um, the rhino as something to build around. But if we don't find something to build around, we're going to be dead soon. So it's... Uh, it's a bit touch and go at the moment. The sheep scares the crap out of me. No doubt about that. Yeah, we're just going to lose. We're just going to be dead. Three wins. And after that third win, I was feeling so confident too. That's what hurts the most. So I don't think it's hard to diagnose where that went wrong. Uh, we had helpless swimmers. Um, we had a hard... Uh, time with our roster we had like a terrible supply of animals but how you fix it is the real that's where the the genius of super auto pets comes in because to be honest with you i don't know if i have a, an easy answer for that one i usually don't buy a second ant just because it 
We tend to want to pill the ant for value as early as possible. This could not have gone better. <clears throat> so I don't, yeah, I don't really know on that last one. I can diagnose why we lost, but it's hard to come up with a way that we win. Uh, I'll take, and I think we can actually try something here. I think we can try, don't hit the otter. I'll accept it. I think we could try this. And I guess we'll do it that way. The elephant should be able to survive uh, through most teams' first attack, which is very good for us. It gives us maybe, you know, two camel triggers and then the fish goes off. That's the dream. This is exactly the way we wanted this to go. Whether or not it will continue to do that in the future remains to be seen, but you know what? I respect that. I respect a single cupcake here. I don't really respect an apple. I do respect an otter. It's like an apple plus. I do respect the hedgehog here, but we'd have to sell the otter. The thing about the the hedgehog is that it generates value from the double or from the camel trigger. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. So I think even two of them is okay. If we decide that we maybe we could say like goodbye to our mosquito. There's a part of me that wants to go complete insano mode and sell the fish to take a giraffe just because the giraffe actually gives us scaling. Now this temporarily is going to be horrendous. Oh, I went to good freeze, but it didn't click. But I think in a rounder... Okay, this is just not what you want to see, quite frankly. <laughs> I think in a round or two, its genius could start to shine. We're getting like a level one otter per turn. That's pretty good. We love this. The elephant is the next unit to go. And I think we would sell the elephant to add a blowfish and have the blowfish steal some buffs. Does the blowfish need to steal the buffs? We really want to... You know what? I'm going to give the giraffe the buff for now. I want to get to a level 2 giraffe. We've already outperformed our last run, which is hilarious. I feel like this strategy could have more legs than you probably think it's going to have. First off, we had a great a bit of luck with the blowfish there. I'll be happy to take that. Then, keep it going. Yes, yes. Roll me. Really wanted more there. I still think the camel's what we're looking for, especially if the camel gets to level two. Its ability to feed guaranteed hurt triggers downstream is going to be very effective for us. In theory, that's in, th in theory, that's what happens. A skunk is still pretty valuable too. So you you need that, but I mean, I'll freeze you for a second, but just work with me. I'm keeping my giraffe. I'm going in. <laughs> Level two blowfish incoming. Okay. I would still prefer to not lose this, but we really need a, a camel to level two. If we get a camel to level two, I'm starting to feel downright confident. I would also like everything else on my team to go to level two if that's possible. You might say barely. I say that was not barely. You run a sheep, you, you reap what you sow, okay? I love it. I think as as bad as this looks for <clears throat> Oh, you had a level. Ah, this is this is still okay. As bad as this looks right now, especially for the cat living, uh I think I I have to admit, though it pains me to do so, that I've been very guilty of underrating the abilities that the cat has. I think it can be a solo scaler all the way up. Now, I still love this. And then what do we want to pop? I still think it's the camel. I'll freeze and roll. I'd love to get you one level up, but you know what? 1922 level one camel. Got just a little chocolate, man. Just something. The only thing I'm really worried about is a scorpion, but I'm not that worried about it. 
because our unit is in the second position. The unit we care about is in the second position, so we're probably okay there. We love this, we love this. Now this is basically three super pairs. Holy cow. Could the cat possibly get us out? Could, it, could the cat make this weird team have a better than average chance? Not against this 46 health uh, fish, I think. <laughs> but we still got another round in here, okay? Just relax. We still love this. We still love this. Now, my giraffe, you've served us well. But the time has come, okay? I don't think we can really rely on tiger blowfish. Um, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think setting this up for our next turn, if there is a next turn, might be a little nice. It might be kind of nice. We don't have a whole lot of killing power. That's kind of like my major uh, problem right now. Now, it didn't matter there. We're on eight wins. I still want, even if it feeds one of the cats, like the wrong one, I think we'll accept that as being worth it. I would, for this round, I would do that. We need efficient units if we're, if we're not going to be paying it forward for scaling. It's a very strange team. Not bad necessarily, but maybe bad against us because our blowfish is popping and like low attack units are not going to stop us. Holy cow, I, I got a little scared there. That's nine wins. Level two. Welcome. Welcome. Honestly, we should have just gone for a cupcake, but triple salads. And you know what? Why don't you take some garlic? You're a 22-23. Garlic's not that bad. This would be unorthodox, okay? 5016? What can I say? Unorthodox E wins out at the end of the day. A weird little camel build that actually managed to make it happen. Okay, bring me back. Bring me back. I don't love it, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I, I love a mosquito. Let's be the wet balls. Perfect. Okay, I'm feeling good now. Let me hydrate. I apologize for the gross water bottle sound, but this is the largest automobile I could afford on my salary. Are you laughing at my at the size of you ever see The Simpsons? It's a heck of a show, Springfield, Springfield. It's a heck of a town. The something, something's up and the shopping mall's down. Something like that. I can't remember. It's been a bit. Not a long time, but a bit. Okay. One win, no losses. I love this for me. Why not? To the victor go the spoils. You know what? I'll buy a fake apple, an organic apple. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, here's what I think, okay? I still think you can do this. I kind of want the ant at the back, but it's, it's a little aggro. Don't even get started with me, by the way. If you're at the point right now where you're like, oh, another... Uh, Hedgehog, camel, mosquito build? You need to watch less of this game, okay? This is a slightly off-kilter build. Don't get on me, brother, that we love that. We take that. You know, let's save it. Oh, yeah, you gotta save the other mosquito, man. It's all right, they're everywhere, at least in the summertime. Uh... I would still love a giraffe. I mean, like, we're doing well right now, but we need the scaling for later. Big Fortnite guy, what a name. What a great name. Uh, straight up, you get out of here. I would totally add a dolphin. I think for a few rounds, that can be a, it can be a stud. It can be a superstar. I do think that, unfortunately, the time has probably come to get rid of this mosquito and go right back to the blowfish. We, the one thing I want to remember but may not, is that I need to get rid of our ants. Just because it's our strongest unit, it has very limited late game potential unless it scales to the freaking moon. So I think the next pill we see, we should pill the ants. Even if it gets both of these salads, which thankfully it didn't because I would have felt like a fool. 
We our our ability to get to ten wins relies on us getting rid of this ant at some point, okay? It's the truth. Don't be mad. Burnt Reynolds. What a name. You st I, I don't think we go Rooster. I think we need our late game scalers, if anything. Two Hedgehogs is what I want. So I'm hoping to get a pill. Or uh, two Blowfish would also be great. I'm still rooting for a pill. I'm willing to roll a little bit. Not, not a ton, but a little bit. I would rather have a... That's fine. Uh, I, and I think two hedgehogs is the right play because it gives us two triggers on the blowfish and two triggers on the camel. I think two blowfish, it can also be good, but when you go all in on a synergy in this game, I think you tend to get yourself into a little bit of trouble. Because it, at the end of the day, it's not the synergy that wins you the game. It's usually the stats. You are freaking lucky that I have my hedgehogs in the wrong order, you piece. Either way, we're setting it up like this for now. You take one of these. I guess we are going to run two blowfish for a minute here. We learned our lesson. Oh, no, we're not going to run two blowfish. We're going to run one blowfish. Ooh, just in case me. This is worse than our last one because we never got the giraffe to make it like truly pop. But that doesn't mean it's over. Good smacks. Uh, in fact, I mean, we're already at six wins, which is great. Unfreeze me. Uh, I would say sell me, pop me, desync error, that's fine. I would definitely say feed me. I prefer the camel over the blowfish in terms of getting the buff. Penguin's not really well suited for what we got going on. We still have no build around unit, which is scary, but uh, I mean, I, we could just wait for a cat to show up again. That worked very well for us last time. Great meat efficiency. You love to see that meat efficiency. This is where I'm starting to get a little more scared. Yeah, we're going to lose this one. But I think we put up a fight. Not even on lethal yet, okay? Try me with one of these. No sushi yet. It's a tough one. I think we definitely got to hit you. Um, you're a 5-7 that does 5 damage. You're a 10-4 that does 5 damage right now. But might do more damage later. I think I can sell, buy, freeze, buff, buff. I'm not... Yes. Uh... I'm not particularly inspired by this. If anything, we really need a scaler. This team has, has peaked in uh, usefulness and is now suffering grave consequences. But that doesn't mean we can't get a couple lucky ones. Come on. Okay, now we're on lethal. Cat, cat me, cat me. I don't think we can get the camel higher. I also don't think the blowfish is the play. I think we got to get... We got to get something superlative. Like two scorpions is kind of a scumbag move and we get destroyed if one of the if the hedgehog dies first somehow, which is actually very plausible. I know I said we didn't really want this, but like with 3 gold remaining, that seemed like the best arbitrage. I'll be the first to tell you that what I'm running here is a scumbag build, but I'm doing it out of desperation, okay? Like we have, I, I think it's too late for a dragon to make it here. A, a single scaler. A scaler of any variety, please. I mean, a seal is a scaler. It's just not good enough. We don't need more hedgehogs. I'm going to, pizza, yeah. Enjoy your pizza, okay? A, okay, I know I said of any variety. I didn't literally mean that. Like, a giraffe is too late. Okay, one of them died. That's not great. However... You didn't hit the right unit. You didn't hit the right units. You could have gotten us out of there. Give me one more. I can't believe we've been playing so fast. This is how much I disrespect uh, Horse Cricket. I think Horse Cricket is still like a C tier build. Be a shy bush. Stats will win you games, which is why I was so perturbed to not encounter a scaler in that last one. Giga Omega Super J. 
Well, what a name. Let's do this for now. This team does not lose rounds. Maybe it draws. It does not lose. Okay, maybe it loses, but it doesn't lose badly. <laughs> Shows what I know. Okay, take it. You know what? I'll take a flamingo briefly and freeze a pill for later. Buff everybody. I'll take this for certain. Roll me. Saw an apple. I'm a simple man. I see an apple. I eat an apple. I'm not saying necessarily the mosquito is most likely to stick around, but it does have some mid to late game utility, whereas the fish... The only reason it tends to stick around is because it also tends to eat up those buffs early. Well played. Well played. Me melon armor is very strong. If I had it myself, I'd, I'd be thrilled to take it. I'm not pilling you yet. Just take one of these. I love to see that. Okay. We'll probably pill you next turn. We're going to have a 6-8 mosquito with meat. That's very good. Oh, your melon armor, uh, it's broken. Okay, they also had a 6-8 mosquito with meat. I'm telling you, don't sweat it. This run is still good. It looks worse than it is. We don't really need to level our flamingo. That's insanely good. Uh, you need one of these, even though you just got your meat recently. We still get the HP from it. You know what you do here? Give me a skunk. Soak up this buff with our mosquito, please. And then just throw me another flamingo, man. Just throw me another flamingo. How many different challenges are you doing at once? Because this is like a four squad puppy team. Like, it's like that team was missing a llama. It was built for a llama, but it was missing a llama. God is my witness. You can sell your fish to double the speed of your food scaling. Of course, the flip side of that is it requires us to get some food. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I mean, we're only on round six. We're basically looking for salads, but we ain't seeing them is the flip side, I guess. Okay, good skunk, good skunk. Good one, good one. The math works out perfectly. Double rabbits got me feeling good. I think it's time that you probably go. Um, just having a turtle is, is good enough, and I guess we'll freeze this. Got to figure out what the heck we're going to do with it, though. Don't mind. We gotta we gotta scale a unit. I'm gonna keep you around. This is a big just in case. Eh, double salad, okay. You may notice what I'm noticing. We have one good unit uh on stats, and then a bunch of units that don't really seem to do a whole heck of a lot. I would say that's fair. <laughs> and we're on lethal. Now would be a great time to do a little bit better. Let's do this. Don't hit a turtle. Love to see that. Thank you so much. Now, honestly, I think for now, you need you, you do need the melon armor mostly because I think we got to preserve uh, our, our uh, garlic armor just to have a chance. If, if only the penguin, like, had uh, any targets except our mosquito, but basically is like a long-distance giraffe right now. This seems horrendous for us. <laughs> Just to be clear, I'm <laughs> I'm not trying to BM. I'm saying this seems legitimately terrible. I think we got insanely lucky there. Look, that's never gonna be good enough. Don't don't make me laugh. It's way too late, and we're way too lethal for a hippo. Um, I would like the mosquito to level, but I think it's also very important that. Maybe at some point our rooster hits level two, our skunk hits level two, we can start to build out of the quicksand that way. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, we won a round. Now that's surprising to me. I guess we'll go up a level. I wish that I believed that that snake would work. You have to do this.
This rooster is actually becoming like somewhat useful. This is not where you want to be on turn 10 with one 15, 22 garlic unit, but the skunk, it, it's gotten us out of some jams you wouldn't expect us to get out of before. We draw again. Thank you, rooster. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for your help. I think we need some killing power, which the scorpion is the easiest way to get that. You know what? That's a huge just in case, but I'll take it. Uh, this is like hater talk, but would it kill you to let me level any of my units that aren't mosquitoes? They become a lot more useful as the levels progress. This is bad. A fly is always not something you don't want to see. Come on, man. It's just... The, the disrespect. You deserve that. You didn't even have to see my chicks. Roll me. Okay. Skunk is so valuable, but I feel like we also need the rooster. We really need both. This is one of those rare times I'm like, I'm not convinced Melon Armor is the play. Because if we could get a skunk or get chocolate, then I would have rather get, get, gotten our skunk to level two. But, I mean, any port in a storm. I don't know what's going to happen here. But I do know that's going to be an incredibly strong kangaroo. Yeah, that's going to be impossible. <laughs> Fair enough. Honestly, given... You're not going to believe me. I think we got pretty... We never had... A, in that 26 minutes we just had, we never had a single run where it was like, oh, autopilot. Every time we had to be like a little bit out of the box, a little creative. We didn't get much scaling at all. On pay to win, we will get some scaling. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We added a one team to the Hall of Fame today. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!